At Metropolitan, we're never satisfied with the status quo. That's what makes us leaders. We know how to succeed and recognize that there's always room to improve. Our pioneering spirit is rooted in our founding when we built the Colorado River Aqueduct to bring a new water source hundreds of miles to a growing Southern California. And again in 1960, when Metropolitan was the first contractor to join the State Water Project to import water from Northern California. Now considered national leaders in conservation and local resource development, we've responded to every new challenge to provide water reliability to a region of 19 million people. This last year was historic in so many ways. Now I know I've said that before, but this year was truly unprecedented with a worldwide pandemic. It's tested us as an organization, as builders, as planners, as people of conscience. Our employees have risen to the occasion, they've shown resiliency and the value of all our planning efforts. And although we can't prepare for each and every possible scenario, there's one thing that helps us every time, and that's that we are always planning. We plan to innovate, we design for resilience, and we recognize the value of every employee's contributions. Here are some of the ways we responded to the challenge this year. How we quickly adapted to difficult conditions. We've been growing and changing for the better. Finding better ways to plan. There's no question that the future will pose new obstacles to Southern California's water reliability. With that in mind, Metropolitan's board considered the shifting water landscape and the district's second century at a two-day retreat last fall. Held at Pasadena's Huntington Hotel, where Metropolitan's board first convened nearly 100 years ago, directors examined our historic role in the region and set a course for the future, including a fresh approach to our planning efforts. The process for creating the new 2020 Integrated Resources Plan began by engaging stakeholders to identify potential scenarios that could impact our future, which will help us to create a roadmap for how we tackle these challenges to meet the region's needs over the next 25 years. We celebrated the grand opening of the Regional Recycled Water Advanced Purification Center a major step toward a potential full-scale water recycling plant that could be among the largest in the world. Our work and innovation to create a new drought-proof water supply for Southern California garnered recognition by the engineering news record as the 2020 California Public Owner of the Year. It was also selected in Los Angeles as the 2020 Outstanding Water or Wastewater Treatment Project by the American Society of Civil Engineers. Streamlining processes. In our ongoing work to maintain and strengthen our water system and facilities, Metropolitan saw big successes that highlighted our innovation in engineering. With the board's authorization to refine and streamline project approval processes, Metropolitan completed its two-year capital improvement program at about 100% of planned expenditures, a first for the organization in at least two decades. Among the dozens of construction projects currently underway, Metropolitan relined about 11 miles of the second lower feeder and fast-tracked a project to redesign and rehabilitate key infrastructure that protects the Colorado River aqueduct system. We also accelerated the Gregg Avenue pump station rehabilitation project by a full year, strengthening our ability to distribute Colorado River water into the far west reaches of our service area. Pivoting Operations 2019 was a banner water storage year for Metropolitan, one that demonstrated the flexibility of Metropolitan's system and highlighted strategic decision-making to maximize the availability of water supplies. By quickly adapting operations to changing conditions and continuing to promote lower water use, Metropolitan broke records. We saw the highest end-of-year storage and the lowest net Colorado River diversions in over 60 years, making Metropolitan more reliable than ever. The COVID-19 pandemic was undoubtedly one of the toughest challenges we have faced as an organization. Not just this year, but throughout our history, Metropolitan responded quickly and early, sending a majority of employees home to a new and productive telework environment 
and introducing micro teams to protect field staff. In a matter of hours, we completely reimagined how we work and engage with the public. In the face of so much uncertainty, we assured the region that one thing they didn't need to worry about was the safety of their water supply. Strengthening culture. In a year when ethics, equity, and inclusion were amplified on the national stage, we took a strong stand to drive change. Metropolitan renewed its focus on our own integrity, commitment to fairness, and respect for diversity. Led by our chairwoman, Gloria Gray, and board of directors, we began re-examining our policies and engaging in what will be a lasting and deeper dialogue with employees to continue strengthening our culture and ensuring access to opportunities for all. So Metropolitan has always been up for challenges. This year, Metropolitan showed our resilience by reinventing ourselves and adapting to these changing conditions. This would not have been possible without the talent of our workforce, our ongoing planning efforts, and our culture of innovation and dedication to those we serve. We certainly earned our status as essential workers. Thank you.